She is a known marine queen in Nigeria. She has warned the church against the use of ornaments and other things which congregants think they are trendy and in vogue. The type that love jewelries, makeup, beauty things. Are you the type? If yes, sit down, let me talk to you. If you are a Christian, go to church and you have these pins on your nose, you have here, you have pins here, you have pins on your navel, you have chains on your leg, you have beads on your waist and you are going to church to cast and ban. My darling, you are deceiving you because you can never be delivered. Yes. In a broadcast on her social media, the Marine Queen told Christians not to waste their time because they have already been initiated into Marine Kingdom when they put on makeups, piercings, among other fashion trends, to church. If you like, still remove it. You have already been initiated. You are already us. You will see someone that called him or herself a Christian, most especially the female. You will see them having this pin nose on their nose. You will see them having this on pins on here. This nose pin is more common in all of them. You see them preaching. You see them uh, doing past, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, choiring or singing in the church. In their mind, and they are going to enter heaven. In their mind, they are Christians. Not that knowing that every time they are not a Christian. If your wife, husband, always put things or put this or do all of this stuff, knows that they are from the Marina Kingdom and their power with them. Also, the church that they are going, they are just going in fashion. Yes. She revealed that some of these popular ornaments are known as marine properties used for initiating people into the marine world. She heard a word of advice, Christians. Because as long as you have this in your nose, you belong to marine kingdom because these are marine signs and these are marine properties. And also some that has tattoo. You are going to church with tattoo. You are from marine kingdom. You can't change. <laughs> you see, so many of you, you love these things, but you don't know where it's coming from. Most of all these things you are using are coming. In fact, all the things you are using, all these beautified things, makeups, hairs, weavons, fashion things are coming from marine kingdom. Jesus Christ in heaven, what they wear there is white garment. If you want to behave like a Christian, be wearing white garment. Don't fix hair. Don't fix nails. Don't fix eyelashes. Don't use paint. Don't make up. Don't use anything jewelry on your body don't put on there then you can enter heaven then you are a christian but when you do all of this stuff welcome to our kingdom her assertion was buttressed by a tanzanian young preacher gabriel mzarai who says the lord showed him that these ornaments and makeups are demon connected i saw medusa yeah medusa that mythological creature that is believed to be a myth which is not because she exists, she is a real demon, a principality of fashion, and so many other things. She was, she is dealing with a lot of things, and God, I don't, I don't know why, but God had allowed me to have a, a, a lot of experiences with her, and this was the first time I saw her in the spirit, and then the Lord showed me um, all the ladies that were there, and I saw that in their wigs. You know, makeup, jewelry, and all this artificial beauty. I saw demons. You know, demons were attached to the to the earrings. Demons were attached to the paint. You know, everywhere you put vanity products, jewelry, they are going to be demons sitting there. They are going to be demons in the wig. If you are plated wigs, if you have artificial, you know, eyelashes. This was not only a vision about them, but the Lord was showing me. What really happens, this is why women find it so hard to give up these things. They find it so hard to give up eyelashes, wigs, makeup, lipstick. Uh, yeah, all that stuff, they find it hard to give up. Why? Because they are demons. Interesting.